now let's solve this problem in intellij in java and we'll submit it in uh, coding ninjas so i have my intellij open let's start solving this and i will take uh, the same method as given here let the mark it as private remove this and final the second parameter is redundant because this n is actually nothing more is the array length but anyway let's start solving this so as we have seen in our solution that we are maintaining this 2d array and when we are calculating all these values uh, coming up so this is our final solution 0 and minus 1 okay so let's create our 2d array dp is equal to new int sorry and it would be n and this the array length now uh, one thing is that if length is equal to 1 right we always come up with 0 and by default when we create any array uh, or a 2d array in java all the values are already 0 so we don't need to take care of this uh, length is equal to 1 we directly start with length equal to 2 where we actually do some calculations right so let's start with that so i will start with for int i will better mark it as length uh, okay let me so this length equal to 2 and length is less than and length plus plus we start with length equal to 2 3 and all let's go to 4 okay and then the second loop would be for i right so i we have to start with 0 and here we have to do n minus length right because we are moving in the sliding window format as we have seen here We start with i is less than equal to k, and we move to till j. And our j would be always i plus length. Now let's start with. We will iterate from. I is from the k is the point which is we are iterating from i is equal to j. So this is what we are going to do now. So first of all, let me put a very high value so that because we uh, we have to find the minimum of all the uh, possible uh, cases or the possible uh, number of n minus one base that we had deduced before. So it would be starting with max value so that we always get some minimum out out of it. And this is where we will start with k, right? And k is equal to i plus one, and k is less than j, right? So this is all the formula that we have written down. I start with where we are breaking it down into lengths, and uh, we are using it as a sliding window, starting with zero, k starting with zero first, and then move to zero and one, which is like length of two, and then finally uh, we exhaust it similarly. And similarly, for length equal to four, we start with k is equal to starting with zero, and then we start with as a as a sliding window of zero one and then zero one and two, starting with zero, zero one, zero one two, like this. Similar thing, similar thing we are doing here, and then the final cost, the cost that we have calculated here, it should be minimum of this, right? so instead of the, because uh, let's uh, just write this formula because we are going to use a naive approach to get the minimum i will show it just now dp of i and k plus dp of k plus 1 and j if we can start with k because r is start with 0 plus 
R of I. Array of R of I because is we are actually giving it in the form of array, right? Here we are giving the form of array, and array of I would be row of I. Similarly, array of K would be the column of K and, and given in the index. And similarly, array of J, which is the com column of K. So this formula is same as what we have done here in this part. Array of I, array of K, and array of J, which will be giving me the row of I, column of K, and column of J. And now, as we mentioned that we are using a very naive approach because we have to find the minimum out of it. And uh, we have already initialized our this uh, DP of I and J for that particular column as max value. Now we have to just see that whether it's minimum or, or the cost calculated here is already minimum or not, because we are iterating through all the for loops possible. So there's a naive way is that we just use if cost is less than DP of I and J, then we simply put it then DP of I and J is changed. To the cost it's not the integer dot max value anymore because we have found a minimum a min, uh, cost which is less than the previous value and similarly for all the for loops for all the case uh it will uh check that which is the minimum cost and then it will update it accordingly so that's it guys this is the whole formula as we just discussed before and finally we see that the result is written as zero and minus one so i will just return this value here return dp of zero and minus one okay so let's run this and see whether it's uh, nothing is correct i will use the same um same input as given here this one matrix multiplication new int just paste this formula here and its length is five right am i missing something oh this one. okay now let's run this Answer is 30, which is correct, and it's matching with what we calculated here. So again, just to revise this, that we started with the DP array, uh, 2D array, and because the length is equal to one, we don't consider it because uh, it's always zero, and by default, the DP array, the array created in Java is always started with default value as zero. We start with length equal to two to n, same as here. We start with length equal to two to three and four, and then we keep on uh, maintaining this i, j, i, k, and j variables as we have discussed uh, in our previous uh, approach uh, videos. We came up with this formula and the final, final formula was this one. We simply implement the same here and then we return the final value as we have deduced at 0 and minus 1 here. So let's run this, use this solution and then run it in um, here. Run code. Yeah, just the test cases are matching. Now let's submit it. Okay, so it works well. So it's all good. We have solved this problem. Let's quickly do the time and space complexity. So time complexity would be because we are using uh one two three four loops right so i will just, just generalize it as n cube and similarly for space complexity because we are using a 2d array of dp here so it would be o of n square which is a space complexity time complexity as n cube and space complexity as n square so this is all about the matrix chain multiplication guys in the next video, uh, we will solve our 16th problem of our tutorial series, which is Paint House. 
and we will solve this problem in lint code so see you all in the next video